Hey guys, GWG Nick here and welcome back. Don't fuck. Okay. Welcome back to Nino Kuni 2. In the last episode, we found out we found irrefutable proof that Pugnacious, the flatter face, is actually involved with uh, fucking around with the goddess's dice. Goddess. Lady Luck's dice, which is a big statue in uh, the casino town. And uh, now we're heading back to face him and go like, what the fuck, dude? And that's pretty much where we are. Uh, I walked some of the way, almost all of the way, just so you wouldn't have to watch me battle through a myriad of monsters that can't, don't really pose any threat and don't give us anything. So I hope you, hope you don't mind me taking that little um, liberty, so to speak. Uh, we are gonna keep doing just the main quest for now. I think this game will open up and some at some point and be like, all right, the world is your playing field. Like, have fun, go mess around. Uh, but I think until then, we're gonna ignore most of the side quests. I'm pretty sure that annoying Facebook thing is gonna come in to play in some way, like with side quests or something. It's probably gonna be the place where you find out what's uh, what there is to do side quest-wise. And I really hate that system, so we'll see. There's a lot. There's a lot of like dialogue in the face, the leaf book, as it's called here, uh, like people posting and then people commenting on those posts but not pl not like actual players but like NPCs and I hate social media in a, in a that kind of social media like when it's real people it feels even more retarded when it's uh, NPCs so I don't know I just I very much dislike that system we'll see what happens let's just go ask F Pug Fugnacious what's up Hey, oi, dude. Sorry. Ah, you again. And did Lady Luck provide evidence of the dastardly machinations of which you imagined us guilty? Guilty? Hi. Master Pugnacious, you, ha you have decided Nial and your own people. You have deceived Nial and your own people. The very people you're supposed to serve. <coughs> yari, yari. More wild accusations and where is your proof? Hmm? Did you find evidence of trickery? Some ingenious device hidden somewhere inside Lady Luck, perhaps? <laughs> Come on, you know we're onto you. Why not drop the act? Hi. There is no act to drop. I am innocent, as the mistress of fortune herself will attest. No. Will she now, huh? That's not such a bad idea. I hear she's the one who passes judgment on legal matters around here. How does the trial sound? Oh. Hmm. Sounds like a very fine inde idea indeed. Yes, this is the way of gold, Paul. All matters of state, be they legal, political, or otherwise, are decided by the role, by the role of the sacred dice. And as ruler of this great nation, I am more than willing to submit myself to the judgment of Lady Luck. But know that if I am found innocent, I shall treat your attempts at sedition with the gravity they deserve. You will be punished for the crime for crimes against the state. Do you accept my terms? Here's the thing: I'm thinking that Roland, since we have one of those remote controls, he's thinking like I can just fiddle with it. And like, like give him the outcome that he deserves instead of the one that he wants. But how does he know it works? Shouldn't we have tried it, tested it first? Hi. We accept your terms. We do. Oh. Then we will begin the preparations right away. Come to the square at the appointed time. I hope the appointed time is immediately. <laughs> All right, time for the main event. Yes, it is. Yes. I'll leave this to you if you don't mind, Roland. Ah. Uh. Sure. I was hoping you'd say that. And we're going to go watch. The preparations are complete. The trial can get underway as soon as you have confirmed that you're ready. Well, shall we begin? Begin yes, the trial. Very well. If you would please take your places. I hereby convene the trial by fortune of Master Pugnacious Grand High Roller of Goldpaw. Being the defendant, his eminence will be unable to preside over this hearing. As such, it falls to me to discharge his duties. I hope you will forgive my doubtless clumsy efforts in this most unfamiliar mm -hmm. role. A trial is underway? Mm -hmm. And with the Grand High Roller in the dock, no less? <coughs> How was this not like publicly announced to the citizens of Goldpaw? What kind of preparations were they doing? What in the world can have happened? 
Um, why are you dressed like that, Roland? And where the fuck did you get those clothes? Oh, wait, he came to this world with those clothes. <laughs> because this is a court of law. Sir! The defendant, Master Pugnacious, Grand High Roller of Goldpaw, bows his head before Lady Luck and submits to her judgment in this matter. He stands accused of del dereliction of duty, specifically the knowing deception of his people. If the prosecution would like to begin by making its case. Oi. I intend to prove to this court that Master Pugnacious did knowingly and willingly, with the aid of a network of his most trusted retainers, defraud the very people with whose care he is entrusted. Further, I will show that, the, that he distributed devices among his accomplices, which were used to carry out deceptions on a grand scale through the manipulation of dice rolls. Oh. I do not doubt that you have found evidence of some trifling chicanery among lower level officials, but to allege that this administration as a whole is complicit in such behavior is preposterous. I do not, have not, and will never engage in dishonest practice of any kind, and to accuse me of such is to defame my character and call my good name into question. Perhaps you will permit those present to withhold judgment on the matter until your innocence, of your innocence until you have presented my proof. Until I have presented my proof. Item used. Roland offers up the set of signed instructions as proof. No objection! He even looks like uh, Ace Attorney. What, what is the meaning of this? No. I think you know very well, after all. This document was written by you, was it not? Ladies and gentlemen, I present the prosecution's key exhibit, written instructions for the assembly of manipulable dice clearly signed by Master Pugnacious. Ha! Huh. Does the accused have anything to say in his defense? Yoli, yoli. Only that my prior outburst was merely an expression of shock at the brazenness of his sh this shameless act. I have never seen this document in my life. To stoop to the fabrication of evidence is a pitiful tactic indeed. This is a forgery, plain and simple. Oh. Why don't we let Lady Luck be the judge of that? E By all means. Sir. It seems that both sides are satisfied to entrust judgment on this matter to the Mister of Fortune. May the dice roll, die roll stand as the undisputed word of truth. Lady Luck, grant us an even number if this evidence is be false. If be otherwise, let the number be odd. Yes. Time to show the people of gold pile just how badly they've been misled. Even the evidence is judged to be false. Sorry. Who can see this coming? I saw it coming. もう一つ。あなたに訴えがある。サイコロ様でも行かさまをしている件だ。このリモコンでね。わあ。うん。But wow. this is By the use of the remote control, the outcome of Lady Luck's die roll can be readily manipulated. The prosecution was able to visit the place where these devices are manufactured and to produce one for its own purposes, namely the demonstration of this fraud. Hi. Master Pugnacious deliberately kept the taxes high and stole the Osphorus from him, and all using this horrible trick. Master Pugnacious? No. Can this really be true? <laughs> Cheat, deceiver? No. Shame on you, you're the Grand High Roller. Uh, they are taking this very calmly. I was expecting like a mob and blood in the streets and things. Oi. Don't you have anything to say for yourself? <laughs> <coughs> All that I did, I did for gold paw. I had to make my nation rich, richer than any other. It was the only way. 
The bond with his people is weakening. <laughs> Soon it will be time. Is he gonna turn into a monster? Is that the Kingmaker? It's their Kingmaker, Longfang. He doesn't look happy. Who the fuck are you? Oh. No, not the King's Bond. Fight that thing. Is what's his name finally gonna be useful? I can't even remember what my King Ma Kingsmaker is called. Long Fang Butcher Baker Kingmaker. Butcher Baker Kingmaker. All right. Well, let's get this show on the road. Where are we? Lofty, that's his name. It's an interdimensional dimension, isn't it? And if we won't don't do something, it'll eat up this whole kingdom. What? Then we have to stop Longfang. You're not wrong there, my boy. Come on, let's knock some sense back into old Bitey, shall we? Huh? You jest, Shirley. That it that there ain't just a kingmaker, this is a kingmaker gone doolally, a blessed realm wrecker. Yeah. Don't be like that, man. Where there's a will, there's a way. He's lost his marbles, in it? Which means he can't keep a lid on all that power. And what happens to power you can't keep a lid on? That's right, it comes flying out of you. And the places where it comes flying out are exactly the right places to wallop. Hit him where it hurts and you'll hurt him good and proper. Oh, and don't worry about knowing where these special spots are. Thanks to your bond with yours truly, you'll be able to spot him no problem. Motherfucker. <laughs> Realm Rickers are kingmakers that have lost control of their enormous power and run wild as a result. This power escapes from them in bright glowing bursts. The points from which the enemy escapes are particularly vulnerable to attack, so if you focus your assault on them, you'll deal a lot more damage. Alright. I missed. What about just a defense on that? He's level 24. King Highmakers are mysterious entities that have absorbed the power of Kingmaker, giving them the ability to exploit their weaknesses when enough of them then gather together. Wait, Highmakers are mysterious entities that have been absorbed by the power of Kingmakers, giving them the ability to exploit their weaknesses when enough of them gather together. They're born from items into which a Kingmaker has instilled its power, so if you smash up anything a Kingmaker creates, you might just find some. Okay. When enough of them have appeared, a golden circle will surround them and they'll beckon you over to press E and call on their always impressive assistance. Alright, well let's start breaking shit. I don't know if there's like, if we should just focus on this or what the thing is here, but... That's a place we want to attack. I don't think we need a kingmaker or whatever for this. Kill it with fire or whatever you're gonna do. Okay. Oh, this is like Zelda. Knock him down, hit him in the head. Nuke him. What is this? Why? Why is that on fire? Ooh. But this guy doesn't do any damage either. Is there nothing like dangerous in this game? We just took half his damage, half his health. And he's done fuck all to us. Oh, 
God damn it, missed it. Still, no no real damage, really. And like the range, oh yeah, I could, I could do range right now, right? couldn't I? Okay, my main gripe with the game so far is it's too fucking easy. Like, that was a good chance to actually make a challenging boss, but it was just like... Huh? This? This hurts a square, ain't it? <laughs> Phew, we're back. I suppose that means Longfang really has calmed down, for now at least. Hmm. Guess we better tie up some loose ends, huh? Can we kill that guy? Like, it's it's gonna it's gonna be this is because this is a child's game or something like that. It's gonna be the naive, cutesy. Oh, forgive me, and we're all like, okay, just do better from now on. Can we just like slit his throat and dumping and dump him in the freaking canal or something? Like seriously, I have done the unforgivable. My desire to lift my kingdom out of poverty became an all-consuming greed. The weakness made me vulnerable, and he exploited it. Mm. Who was he? The one who stole the king's bond. He came to me some months ago. He promised secret knowledge, knowledge of ways in which our nation might be made yet greater, and in return, he sought high office. It was he who suggested that the dice be manipulated, who gave me the means by which it might be done. <sighs> when did I fall under his spell, and how? How could I have allowed such a thing to happen? No. We managed to calm your kingmaker down, but without your king's bond, will you, uh... Will things here be okay? You have bought us a little time. He will sleep a while yet. But in time he will reawaken and in the absence of the bond he will seek to destroy our kingdom once again. Ah? But why curse this scaly... Why curse this scaly pate? There ain't a, a jot a rhyme or reason to such a wanton savagery. Ah. Not now. Shh. Actually, that's a very good question. It's perfectly timed. Master Pugnacious, for the sake of your kingdom, for the sake of your bond, will you help us? Forgive me, I haven't even introduced myself properly. I am Evan Pettywhisker of the House of Tiltrum. I have formed a pact with the Kingmaker of the Cradle of Light and mean to found a new nation in the Heartlands. Will you stand with me? Mm -hmm. So that is what I sensed in you. It was plain to me from the first that you were no ordinary child, but what is, that, what is it that you propose? <laughs> I want to protect our world. I want to make sure that nobody else has to lose what's most important to them, and I want you to help me. Hi! I will do all that I can, of course. Called it. Mother f I fear that he who stole my king's bond may not be satisfied with mine alone. This being so, we must stand together with our brother nations or lose all that is most dear to us. Yeah, this has probably nothing to do with the fact that you're completely defenseless if the king realm wrecker returns. With this in mind, I mean to return Nial's forest to him. Indeed, I mean to return, to return all that I stole. Word of my decision has been sent to y'all already, of course. Arigato. When? Really? Thank you so much, Master Pugnacious. Gold Paul will rise again and its people with it. I wish you good fortune in your quest, friends. Well, Nyal gets back to his forest. Oh, uh, we could see if the casino is open now or not, and if we can gamble. I don't know if it's a good idea to gamble. We'll go check it out. Can I gamble? Let me gamble a little. 
Okay, can I gamble at the table? I'm welcome to the games, but I cannot obstruct their progress. Well, let me play then. Oh my god. Okay, I can't I can't gamble yet. Uh, I assume it will happen at some point. Unless this is like some uh, edited European version which doesn't contain gambling because loot boxes and EA. Right, we're gonna run back to Nial, and I am going to cut it here and uh, reattach the video once we get to Nial because there's gonna be nothing to see in the meantime, and if there is, you'll see it. See you in a bit. All right, guys, we're back at Nial's cave. As predicted, nothing happened on the way here. However, there are now people from Goldfall outside of Nial's cave, and I guess they came here to, I don't know, help with the rebuilding or something. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, beauties, yeah, yeah, bunny, bunny, wee beauties. You, I got my forest, 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 I got my woods back, and it's all thanks to your, to yourselves. You can have all these trees you want. Knock yourselves out. Hi. Thank you very much. <laughs> my accent there was all over the place. Now we can finally start building our kingdom. Wait, Nial, Pugnacious had his king's bond stolen by a creepy snake-headed weirdo. You wouldn't know anything about that, would you? <laughs> Stolen? Jinx, this kingmaker must be tearing the place to pieces. Oh. I wanted to, sure enough, but we caught, taught it a little lesson it won't forget. Goldpaw's safe for now. Mm. King's bond stealing no mean feat, though. He did not happen to be infusing things with an awful filthy fog, did he? What? An awful filthy fog? Somebody translate, is it what I think it is? I hope not. Yes, a sort of purple or Oh, no. fog. Fog. I get you. That'll be the horned ones doing then, right enough. Hmm. The horned one? Ah. The old kingmaker of a place called Allegoria. Nasty piece of work and no mistake. For someone to be using the beastie's power would have to mean. Aye, I cannot see it being done. But anyone but Dolorn. He was the king that shared a bond with the creature. No. So we just need to go to this Allegoria place and get the bond back, right? Mm -hmm. You'll have a job doing that, I'm afraid. Allegoria hasn't existed for, oh, 2,000 or more years now. It disappeared along with the land on which it stood. Mm -hmm. So he's the king of a country which hasn't existed for what? centuries? What does that mean? Is he a ghost or something? Hmm. Whatever he is, I'd say he's looking to pinch people's king's bond in order to try and bring the horn one back somehow. And if he doesn't, if he does that, the whole world will be filled with purple fog before he can say we're doomed. Hmm. So Pugnacious was right. He'll be trying to steal more king's bonds. Yeah. What are you looking at me like that for, man? <laughs> then we mustn't let him succeed. We can't let him bring back the horned one. Who huh. is the horned one? We sure can't. But if we're going to stop him, we'll need the strength of an entire kingdom. A kingdom we haven't even started building yet. <laughs> And let's get to work, shall we? Oh. Arr, time to get building, my hearties. Mm -hmm. Aye, sounds like a plan right enough. I best come with you, you'll be needing my help. <gasps> really? <laughs> we will? Speaking of which, things will be getting on the way by now, I reckon. Hmm? <coughs> <coughs> Where did all these people come from? Oh. I see sky pirates, greenlings, even a few people from Ding Dong Dell. How do you know what greenlings are? <coughs> oh, actually, they were. We were told they were Nial's people. And how would you recognize people from Ding Dong Dell? The only thing he th saw there, Roland, was like mice. That was it. Mm. They must all want to be citizens of our amazing new kingdom. Boy. That they must, right enough. But how did the swabs even know how to come on knocking? <laughs> you have me to thank for that, son. I did not expect so many to turn up soon, to be honest. I put the word on the street, you can. 
And we thank you for getting old forest back like. <laughs> That's more than we could have hoped for. Ah. Oh, think nothing of it. I ask only the teensy weensiest of favors in return that you make your minister of that you make me your minister of finance. That's a teensy weensy request. Also, why did why has he turned into a fucking leprechaun? <laughs> There's none can pinch a penny like I can. Hi. I think that sounds like a wonderful idea. Yes. Wait, 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 wait. We're gonna we're gonna make a guy who lost his entire forest slash country in a dice game, the Ministry of Economics. The Minister of Economics, Min Minister of Treasury, whatever he said. The Treasurer. Minister of Finance, that's the word. It's right there on screen. I don't really think that's a good idea. Like, make somebody who doesn't gamble the money the Minister of Finance. I guess that makes Batu the Minister of Defense. Oh. The swab in charge of fighting, you mean? So, <laughs> now everybody's Scottish. I like the sound of that a good deal. Har. And I guess I can be your advisor. I have a little experience running a country. You keep bringing that up, Roland. You're you're kind of humble bragging at this point. I'm sure I can help out here and there. Mm -hmm. No, you'll be my chief consul. I am no politician, Roland. I shall need your help. Oh. Well, that's very kind of you, Evan. I just, I don't know if I'll be... Nah. It's the king's job to appoint his ministers, correct? Then I hereby appoint you chief consul. <laughs> well, all right then, chief consul it is. By royal appointment. Mm. Thank you, Roland. Ah, no problem. Happy to see you're finally taking the lead. <laughs> I suppose I am, aren't I? I'm still not sure if I'll be up to the job, but I have to try. Look at this. Look at this screen right now. These two fuckwits are gonna run a kingdom. Only in a game could this work. And thanks to all of you, I finally feel ready to. I'll try my best for your sakes and for mine. Flipman, I almost forgot. If we build a kingdom, we need a proper tidy name, isn't it? To make things official like. <laughs> <laughs> I've been doing some thinking about that. <laughs> I've decided to call our new. No. Estabania. Estabania. Evermore. <laughs> the kingdom of Evermore. I like it. Did you come up with that yourself? Mm. Oh no, it's from an ancient story. The story of a great kingdom whose people were so happy that they wished it f for it to last forever. <laughs> huh, fitting. Nee. All right, Mr. King, you've named your country. Time to address your adoring citizens. Oh, Yahar. Ow, I almost pulled a muscle in my neck doing that, Yahar. Oh <laughs> Oi! <laughs> Stand on a rock so people can see you. みんな。この新しい国にはどんな困難が待っているかわからない。でも僕は作りたいんだ。みんなが笑い合える豊かで。美しくて。そして平和な国を。エヴァ。みんな。この僕と一緒に歩いてほしい。きっと険しい道だけど。この道は希望に続いているんだ。Shouldn't hope be during the journey and not the end reward. よ、お邪魔。Core, there's Kingly. You are that wasn't half bad. Eva. Nice speech, Evan. Couldn't have done better myself. This is where it all begins. Here and now, our kingdom. Eva. We're with you till the bitter end, lad. Come hell or high water. Thank you, all of you.
that that mid scene talker, that the narrator, he really reminds me of something from One Piece. なんだか浮かない顔しているね。せっかく国づくりが始まったのに。うん。それは嬉しいんだけど。僕<笑> And we are going to end the episode, I think. Let's see what happens when we save. If it's going to be like a talking scene or if we do something. All right. Now we're going to come into the kingdom building. Actually. Ah, well, I'm just going to talk over it and we'll load up this save next time. We're going to end the episode right here. If you're still watching, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the show. Please don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and share my videos if you can so that my channel may grow and we can build a community here. Other than that, uh, in the next episode, we are going to come into this and we're probably going to start building our kingdom and we're going to come into the king kingdom building uh, mechanics and see how annoying and faff faffingly annoying that is. But... Here's to hoping, right? Anyways, we'll do that in the future because for now we're gonna say bye-bye.